this is a quick video review for the uh, GT covers for the 2014 Subaru Forester and uh, has the this is the premium so it has the armrest um, also the WeatherTech floor liners I'll start with those because they're easier uh, the WeatherTech floor liners fit great um, as you can see goes all the way around catches the water it's a bit rainy here today and then in the front they catch the mud pretty well uh, and they go back front and even up the sides just like the commercial says uh, the only thing on this side because there's no hooks to hold it uh, it does get a little play here um, which can make it look like it doesn't align right but you just gotta pull it back uh, but it does protect the interior pretty well on the driver's side this is the same thing um, my only complaint is I wish it went up a little higher over there where your foot rests um, and I guess for reasons of the pedal being in the way can't go up any higher in the back um, but it would be nice because as you can see a lot of dirt still gets on the carpet there uh, for the GT covers I only got them in the back uh, we have a dog he likes to rest his head right here and on the other side and of course with the black interior and the tan dog you see the hair everywhere um, I didn't want to get it ingrained in the seats so I did some research and found the GT covers um, they fit pretty well the first set I had the bottom wasn't the correct fitment uh, they said they changed the um, pattern so it's supposed to fit better uh, and it does fit pretty well um, if you're looking on how to take the front seat off right under here there's a little hook you just pull that forward and it will release the seat on that side there's one more about right here on the other side you pull both of those push down in the back and you can pull the seat out forward um, as far as the front or the backs I mean they velcro just to the included fabric uh, because in the Forester you have this that goes the whole way along the back and that's on both sides so you velcro it here there's straps underneath when you have the bottom seat off you can pull them around and velcro them uh, as well this one on the uh, 60 side of the 6040 seat right in the middle here had a hook I'm not sure why they did that they could have done another velcro strap um, but for whatever reason they did a hook and I had to find a place to fish it through uh, if they were looking to improve the pattern I would just say replace that with a strap a velcro strap um, as that seemed to work pretty well the uh, armrest it fits pretty well um, it was a pain to get on uh, it was it involved a lot of force um, it felt like you were gonna break the seat but you just it really had to get on there uh, really tightly uh, and as you can see there's still a little play with it so I wish they would have just made it maybe like a quarter inch wider on each side and then you wouldn't have this play up in the front because you'd actually be able to fit it on the whole way um, for the seat rests or the headrest they fit pretty well too um, in some of their other videos they have like a better strap system for this I wish they would have done something because this looks a little sloppy to me um, but it does the job of protecting the seat uh, these do fit you can push them down underneath uh, these holes up at the top so that they it's supposed to hide it this hole is a little too big um, the middle headrest same thing you can see you can push it underneath this hole fits a little better uh, they might want to look at the hole placement for those I did have like a little flaw in the fabric here but their customer service seems to be pretty good so I think they'll replace it uh, and you can see here there's like another stitching thing but um, they did replace the whole bottom seat for me because the fitment was wrong so I'm going to email them again and I'm pretty sure they'll fix the headrest problem um, again this side also pretty good but again the bottom just looks a little sloppy 
but when the seat covers on or the uh, headrests are down all the way it doesn't make that much difference you don't really notice one last thing if you are a parent um, I don't have kids or a car seat but uh, you'll notice here on the Forester is where the latch system is they do have cutouts for the holes on this side they seem to be pretty good um, you can actually feel the metal hat uh, clip in the back where you would clip your car seat uh, but the holes don't align very well um, in my next email to them about the, the stitching issue I'm also going to just suggest that to them that they move it over for me it's not such a big deal again I don't have a car seat but if you have a car seat you probably are going to have issues if you try and get these in um, again on this side this is the driver's side the holes don't align at all I mean this is as far over as you can get it you can see the hole behind there to go back to the hook but it's just it's like the hole is about right here and this is where they're the cutout is so they need to really move the cutout over um, and then reinforce this seam here and put some extra cloth here because this is just the actual cloth of the seat uh, over here just needs to be moved a little to the right and down maybe some extra fabric here because it's really stretching so when you cover this up you would see the seat so you really got to kind of play with it to get it right um, but you can see it does go the whole way down along the edge and it does go back behind the seat belt so it is a custom uh, for, uh, seat cover and it does seem like it's going to do its job this is the um, I believe it's the Endura fabric that is supposed to be waterproof again we have a dog sometimes we can't fit them in the back we have stuff back there so we got to put them up front and uh, just to prevent any pet accidents I thought this would be a better choice um, didn't get any for the front kind of wanted to see how the back ones worked uh, maybe we'll get them in the future but I'd like to see them fix these other few issues and then uh, maybe we can go ahead and upgrade to that um, just to show you these do go down they do fold flat on both sides and again they velcro down to the bottom which is going to be hidden by this little flap here uh, and you do have the rear tethers available and they seem to be in the right spot so overall I give it a pretty good review um, you still have full functionality of the uh, the strap to move them forward and aft so you still have the recline capability again the WeatherTech floor liners also pretty good uh, I would recommend those if you have a Forester a lot of people take these outdoors and it's nice uh, on the driver's side they do clip so it doesn't slide forward like the other side again just I wish they would have gone a little higher up but um, I guess with all the safety concerns lately of stuck pedals and everything else uh, they didn't want to risk it and that's really alright um, they're easy to remove and you can easily vacuum that little bit but as you can see this wet day here it does collect the water and uh, collects all this sand and dirt um, just from your daily happenings so if you guys have any questions comment below I'll try and get to them or uh, post another video if you need of what the uh, seat covers look like. Alright, thanks.